Don't rock climb. <laughs> That's the fucking old thing. <laughs> Jesus. Peace How are you man. lads? How are you? Uh, we're doing Guinness chocolate brownies. Do you introduce yourself? Oh, hello. Uh, I'm Adrian. <laughs> Carnage. <laughs> Carnage. Right lads. <clears throat> no, I'm not going. Oh, is this on? I'm not going rock climbing. This is the GoPro. This is going to show that actually cut right now to the GoPro angle. There we go. Um, <laughs> Stop now, professional show. I'm here with Chef Adrian, you've probably seen him on the telly. Uh, and I said, what better excuse for a video than to come together and make some stuff with Guinness in it. There's plenty of Guinness recipes online. Yeah. We looked up a few, we did about 35 seconds of research and it's brought us here. And yeah. Adrian, you're gonna talk us through what we're gonna be making. Okay, so this is Guinness brownies. Right. Um, <clears throat> so this is basically like a take on the cake, yeah. but again in brownie form. And we're looking for something kind of fudgy in the center. Fudgy, okay. So fudgy and kind of... Nice and warm. Yeah, and the idea is that like it's like, a, you know, it's a dark kind of um, dough, and then you've got the pint of Guinness kind of top with the frosting on top as well. Okay. Right. So you're going to make everything because I'm not right. doing damn all because this is your show. Guinness <laughs> brownie, give me a cooking show. So you show. have, this is um, 300 grams of golden caster sugar. Golden right? caster sugar. And then you have 300 grams of butter. So okay. I'll take, add that into that. Just dump it in. I'll give you this. Here you go. Oh, Straight geez. in. Well, he's chopped it all up, so I'm doing well, fuck I'm going to switch on the mixer. <laughs> Okie dokie. So in. <coughs> Some amount of butter. That's a lot of butter, yeah. <laughs> It is. And then here's your mixer. So you probably have to go around to that. Okay. And what you're going to do is beat this. Do first. I need this anymore? No, no, you don't. See, I'll take that off you. This isn't just going to fly around the place now. Well, don't make a mess. I mean, like, get, get in, like. <clears throat> That's not just going to fly everywhere. No, just go ahead. Get in. He's <laughs> just go for it. Go, go, go down on it. Fucking hell. <laughs> you're winding me up. You show me. Go for it. Look, look all right. <clears throat> Jesus. Oh. So you go in and you beat. It's going everywhere. Oh, it's not really. It's, like an... it's only a bit of sugar. This man is used to causing absolute carnage in the what? kitchen, but like it looks you have a bit... to make a little bit of a mess to like make a nice dish, you know. Well, you keep going there. Right. So you're looking to kind of beat this together. Yeah. So it softens. So just give me that spoon again. Jesus, that. <laughs> this is not. Yeah, it's okay now. Imagine doing this in the TV tree studio or. Oh, but I have, have to make a mess uh, when you're doing it. You have to. <laughs> you have to. Stay in place already within about 10 seconds. Now. Okay, so that's that. So, right? so what you're looking to do is you're looking to kind of combine the sugar and the butter until it comes like kind of like a smooth paste like right, this. Yeah. And then when you get to that stage, then you can add eggs to it. I think it's the bowl. I blame the bowl, not. Yeah, tip would be get something a bit higher up. <laughs> yeah, higher up. <laughs> Good grief. Um, so we can go with eggs. So you can crack in one at a time and then you beat. Uh, you right. can use a spoon for this. I can crack you an can egg. Go for it. Yeah, I'm not going near that fucking thing. <laughs> How many eggs? I'll clean up while you're doing that. So one at a time, you need three eggs all do you together. Any, do you crack them like that, like Ramsey, or do you just off the side of the ball? Oh, I do them on the flat of the table. Flat. Why is that? So the, bits so don't the go in. shell doesn't go in, yeah. yeah. So in you go. Well, fair play for a meat man, you know? Not bad for an egg crack. Yeah, that's good. What'd you say, just one? You're not used to cleaning up after yourself, are you? Just one? Yeah, just one and then beat with the spoon. Beat yeah. the shit out of it. So you do one at a time, and the reason for that is it stops the mixture from splitting. And if it does split, I'll show you how to fix it. Split as in like... As in it'll, it'll look like wrong, basically. It'll like look when like you curdled, are... scrambled eggs, basically. Use a bit of muscle. A bit of muscle, the yeah. fuck. There you go. Now you go in with the next one. Here he goes. Straight in, all right. So you can see, look, it's split, and that happens, all right? So what you do is you add a teeny little bit of flour to bring it back. Right. And don't panic. I don't really know what you mean by split, but sure. We'll it looks like kind of curdled scrambled okay, egg, yeah. really. Let me add in one more then as well, okay? There's my technique here, my arms yeah, bollocks. Yeah, good. Yeah, you're getting there. I mean, it's not the worst. Yeah. And then next you have chocolate. Lovely, Harlan. You said the Guinness is gonna be in the, the 
the topping like yeah no guinness sausage. in this as well yeah okay yeah it's in both uh, okay so there you go so <laughs> I haven't seen anyone get as much into it. Do you want to pour the pint, do you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's pour the pint. Um, this thing's ready to rock. The Guinness. Have these in the freezer. Guinness micro draft. You work away. Full handle, right. You can see the little instructions on it. We've, we had to crack with these last year. I think it just kind of does itself. Is it not supposed to... You're a mad bastard. You're supposed to have it, like, connected to some yoke. That brings it up. If I didn't lift it up there now, Oh, yeah, yeah. It would have just poured it flat. Yeah, it yeah. It would have been cancelled for that. Jeez, she's slow, isn't it? It is slow, like. Wouldn't be that slow in the pool. What's mm. the story? What did, why does this happen when you get a pint of Guinness? What is that? Is that because of the glass? That's the glass. That happens to me as well. Rest. Does it just stop itself? Allowed to settle. This only about half poured. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, good thing we're not getting judged on our Guinness point because <laughs> we're just lumping it in. Um, uh, <laughs> I'll let you deal with that. Yeah. It's not even settled, lad. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's nice. Yeah? It is actually nice. Unsettled Guinness. It's creamy enough, to be fair. Yeah? It is. Solid. Yeah. Wait, it's getting launched in or what? Yeah, hold on. I have to measure it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 150. Yeah, go for it. 150. So it'll just tell you on the scales. Take it easy, take it easy. Oh, <clears throat> joke. I'll finish off the rest of this. <laughs> yeah. And then in with the flour next and chocolate. So all in on top. All in. Yeah, just every all in, bit. every little bit. I'm just finishing this pint. You just chill out over there with your pint, lad. <clears throat> and all the chocolate. And all the chocolate. Oh, yeah. So baby. that's 200 grams of chocolate as well. The best part, as they say. So this, this actually can be done as a cake uh, as well, if you want. Like, it doesn't just have to be okay. brownies. But you could do this as like a Guinness cake, if you like. Perfect. And that's basically really it. Like. You'd be mixing this a while, would you? No, no. I mean... Go on, lad. Here we go. This lad doesn't give a shite about making a mess. That's the good thing. <clears throat> now we're talking. So you just kind of... You don't, like, have to worry too much about, like... Some people would say you need to fold, but you don't have to worry about folding. You just pure... Just get in. Just scoop it around. Mix it. Now, if you wanted, you could add, like, say, chocolate chips. Now, it's good to know. So this goes in. And, and so <clears throat> for the people at home, like, it's, it's still, like, you know, there's bits of lumps in it. Like, it's don't not. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just mix yeah. the shite out of it for just five minutes. Just mix as good as you can. Good as you can, yeah. Yeah, just so as don't good as take you all day. Perfect. So this, this is, is just parchment paint. paper. Okay. Then there's greaseproof paper as well. There's there you go. <laughs> there's a couple of different types. Do you flatten it or let it just kind of flatten yeah, yeah, naturally? Flat. And the key to this is actually to kind of have a taste of it actually. You can taste yeah. the raw mix, yeah. That's beautiful. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I always, like this is why, a big reason why I want to do this, apart from the fact that I was running out of content, but <laughs> <laughs> a big reason was I've always, I've always personally said I don't think Guinness goes well in terms of people always say what goes well with Guinness, so like different types of foods to drink with a Guinness. I've always been a believer that if you're drinking Guinness, you're drinking Guinness, maybe a pack of crisps or something. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be eating that alongside it, but I've been fascinated to see, like I think uh, an average person, especially someone who doesn't <coughs> eat Guinness would think you put that into something, it's just gonna make it real bitter. Yeah. But even tasting that already. Oh, it's sweet. You can taste the Guinness, but it does improve it, so. Yeah, yeah. So that's in the oven. <clears throat> 170. 170. And this will take about um, 35, 45 minutes. Okay. So that's it. Bang. So we'll cut now to, we'll put it in and then we'll cut to a cup now. <clears throat> yeah. That's in. There you go. Beautiful. Look at that. So we're pretending we just pulled it out, but we actually pulled it out about <laughs> 15 good. minutes ago. So how long would you let it settle before you put, like, we're going to make the frosting yeah. now, but... Um, 20 minutes, half an hour to cool, basically. So would you do it in this order? Would you do that? Well, I suppose you'd make the frosting while it's in the oven, would yeah, you? Okay. Yeah. So uh, while that, that's in the, yeah. So while it's in the oven, you'd make the frosting, but, or you can, kind of, you can make it last second. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So this is, uh, frosting's 225 of everything, so 225 butter, 225 caster sugar, 225 cream cheese. Yeah, and the easiest thing is just <coughs> to get one of those tiny little scales, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, use the scales, weigh it all out. Mills or grams, so it's handy. Yeah. Now, uh, so you're going to go everything in here 
right. sugar and butter first. And you want to beat this until it becomes pale. And you've melted this a little bit, haven't you? Just kind of, well, you want it at room temperature. That was really cold. So just give it 30 seconds in the microwave yeah. to kind of help it along. And 225 sugar. Yeah. In you go. And then just literally beat that together with the mixer. The oh, the mixer, for yeah. fuck's sake. <laughs> You're afraid of your life with that mixer. mixer. Why are you afraid of the mixer? Of the mixer so <laughs> I don't like the mixer. <laughs> Go on, it's gonna go all over the place again. It's not, it's not. It this, this bowl's bare. This bowl's bare. It fucking is. Go for it. At least I know it doesn't matter if it does. <laughs> is there no lower setting or something? There is, yeah, yeah. I mean, just well, don't. I would turn it off first. Watch, all right? Turn it off first, put it in, and then You do start. it first. See, it's not as bad. No, it's nowhere near as bad. Wait, I'll give it a go. <clears throat> so you want this to become really pale. It's going to be beaten for a little bit. Does it just turn off on you? I broke my mixer. <laughs> She's dying. Do you see the colour change? Yeah. <clears throat> so we're going to keep going until it just gets a little bit paler. Looks like egg whites. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does actually, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Now you can add the cream cheese. So you go in with this now, and this will um, be in and come nice and smooth for you. That's it. And then you can just use this thing to give it a little further mix, and that's it. Um, what I do is I keep that, if it starts to kind of melt a little bit, you can put it into the fridge. Okay. But that's ready, um, that needs to cool on top, and then that's it. So okay. I'm ready to slice, ready to eat. Perfect. Gonna let that cool slightly because otherwise it'll just melt it'll totally melt, on. Yeah. So you want that to be <clears throat> totally yeah. room temperature. So what I'll do is I'll open the door and yeah. let it cool a little bit okay. quicker. Okay. Right. So look. Just on with that. A little pint of Guinness. <laughs> <clears throat> What's it then, lads? Say, these creamer. These creamer, mate. Right. Uh, so offset spatula. Is that the name of it? Yeah. Okay. And then just kind of the idea of this is that you're using this to kind of get an even kind of coating. What but if also look, them? You're looking fucked. Huh? <laughs> ah, no. You could use you could use a spoon or something. Yeah. But the idea of this is like for for uh, you know you kind of want to decorate it and finish it and yeah. give it nice kind of like peaks and things. That's it. Do and there's no bacon on it, and you just. Cut it and serve. Yeah, cut it and serve. All right, let's do it, so. Give it a go, get a spoon. I think the best thing is dig in with a spoon. Dig in with a spoon. Yeah, so, fine. well you would, these are supposed to be brownies, so we would just cut them up. Yeah, cut them into squares, the way you and go. And then, would you cut them into squares after you've put the, the Yeah, afterwards, on? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just want to get you to try that. Look at that. Give that a go. I'm gonna drop it. Oh God, it's dropped. Right, have it in the hand. So I always go with a spoon for it. That is fucking mentally good. Even the brownie by itself. Oh, here. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I keep underestimating you. <laughs> but you see all the mad shit that's going into it. Guinness. Chocolate brownie, we cream go, cheese frosting. We go 9.1 on that one. 9.1, give it more, <laughs> come on, that deserves more. No, it's, it's loosely, like, fucking unbelievable. I couldn't say I'm bad, 9.1. No need to rate. <laughs> there you go, lads. Mm -hmm.